Hey YouTube, RJ Stealth. I'm gonna do a two-part video for you guys. It's gonna be the first part's a little mini review of the luggage set I have here, and the other part is gonna be an uh, installation for some of you new riders, or if you've been riding for a while and you're curious as to how I install mine to get an idea of what you might need to do to install luggage on yours. I'll have a few steps that you might not need to take. You might have a few steps that you need to take more than I do keep that in mind so this is not a how-to or anything like that it's just a little well as the title says a helpful hint let's get started the review part these are all three made by Sedici they all come with rain covers they come with the proper bungee cords that proper bungee cords that are needed for them they have a really cool reflective side pattern to them I like them because they're black too that <laughs> is a good thing for me um, and they're easy to install so Let's talk about them real quick. This is the, the Sedici tank bag. It's magnetic. I have a metal gas tank, so it is able to stick to my tank. They do make one that has straps in case your gas tank isn't metal. Or, well, of course your gas tank's metal, but if you have a plastic cover that goes over your gas tank. They all come with rain covers, like I said that earlier, but, you know, I don't use them that much. This is the uh, Sedici tail bag. They do make bigger ones. Uh, I believe they might make a smaller one, but this is the one I like. And I will explain some more about this one. The cool thing is, is it does come with book bag straps on the back. I don't use those because they feel weird personally. Uh, well, on my back, it comes about halfway up my back, so it kind of just it feels weird. I don't like it. It also comes with a, a strap to hook into these D-rings right here. So it can become like a duffel bag. I will be using that. You can extend these straps, make them bigger if you have a sleeping bag or a jacket of some sort. The side pockets do, sorry, they do extend, expand and become bigger. And they are a good size side pocket already. The front pocket itself is a good size as well. It does not expand, but it does have nice little pouches for say ID cards or cell phone whatever you might need to put in it like I said it's got these straps uh, also extra little d-rings in case you need to bungee -ify something don't you like that now this flap right here is a bit hard to do at first but it does you know in time it does ease now this top bag is a 25 liter but it does extend 15 more liters to become a 40 liter which is why it has all this excess right here see what I mean more internal pockets, a divider, rain cover, the strap I was telling you about to become uh, to make it like a duffel bag. I kind of just fold this inside like that, um, and then there's a zipper on the side right here. It goes all the way around, and it becomes huge. Um, I will show you guys actually. Just go all the way around like such. Now, ready for it? Look at that. The rain cover does fit the extended size too. So when the rain cover goes on, it can actually cover the whole thing. So it's a good size. Just tuck it back down, zip it back up. It's not hard to zip. Take your time when you're doing this stuff. You don't want to go ruining your zippers or breaking something. Now, fix my little flaps here it all out. I'm going to leave this open because the one thing I do, close a little bit, the one thing I do is uh, this bottom part right here, unzip it like such, unzip it and then it comes right off. I take this, I stick this inside my tail bag, I'll do it later. Um, that way I can keep hold of it so that way when I take, if I take my tail bag off of my bike, I can put it back on there. This is where all your mounting stuff is, so it's really cool because it can tuck all your mounting stuff away instead of having weird straps or clips hanging out. If you're just mounting your tail bag, I don't do that, but the way I mount my tail and saddle bag, there's a way to do it. You'll kind of see it. I'll do that on the second part. It's got Velcro straps here. I've uh, already adjusted mine for my seat 
Uh, I double folded it that way I don't have all this excess. I didn't want to cut it because if I get another bike and say I need to, you know, make it bigger, who knows. The bungee cords are here and it's actually really cool because they're in an X pattern which makes it a lot more secure and like this, they're a lot sta more stable. And they have these little stitching loops right here to keep them together and it's awesome. Put those just like that. But it's really cool. Boom, I'll show you how to install that in a moment. We'll move over here to the saddlebags. They come with a really cool carrying handle in case you want to take them off. They do have a good size little side pocket. It does not expand, but that's all right because the interior of these is actually a good size. They come with rain covers as well. Um, with the rain covers, you can put them all in one thing if you want. Uh, this one's going to be a different shape. Well, it's the same shape and size. But it's going to obviously the orientation is going to be different because it's a big end, small end, and you can't really put the big end, small end on the other side. If this is the small end, that's the big end. Okay, I'm pretty sure we all can pass our shapes. Now, if you look on the inside, hopefully you can hear this, but it's very, very tough. These maintain their shape extremely well. They've got a hard plastic piece in there that uh, keep it upright, so it's really nice. That way, you're not having these little, little really weird thin bags while you're riding if you don't have stuff in it but these are very sturdy the zippers work extremely well when you go to install them you just have to undo this strap and boom there's that seat strap real quick thing too as you see this is the small end this is the big end the small end is going to go over your exhaust side that way um, go towards the rear that way your exhaust can go up like that and the small end can you know clear it versus your big end which would probably touch it so keep that in mind it comes with two bungees i only need one for my installation you may need to use two um i highly doubt you'll need a bunch but if you need to you need to all right guys that's a little tidbit on these i'm going to go ahead and cut it here and i'll insert the next segment boom and uh we'll do an installation uh but real quick I'll in, in the description I'm going to have some information about these saddlebags, tail bag and tank bag. Um, I'll also probably put some pictures up throughout the whole thing too. So, uh, you know, look down at the bottom for that stuff, all right? I'll be back. Sega! This is going to be the second part. It's the installation part. Um, like I said, I've already had this. Had I've already got this stuff opened up. All right. One of the things I do real quick with these is I kind of take these and I hook them up on these D rings just so I can get the bungees out of the way. So bear with me for a moment. It just helps me. Like I said, get everything out of the way. Now my seat is already taken off. I'm going to have a second camera. So that way you can get another angle. Keep in mind, you want, this is the front part of the rear seat. You want the front part of the rear seat matching up with the rear part. That's really dirty. That's gross. With the rear part of your tail bag. Now, simply put it on there. Like I said, mine's already adjusted. Allow yourself some slack because I'm going to tell you the same thing. Especially the same thing with a... Uh, the saddlebags and your tail bag you need to allow yourself some slack because if you look right here there are these plastic lips you have to allow um, that slack because if it's too tight you're gonna wind up bending and possibly snapping these or you're gonna bend and warp the uh, plastic so keep that in mind so you put it on there and then when you go to install this itself just the saddle that just the tail bag you're gonna put it on there these straps will go over the side you can wrap the bungees around and hook onto these that's not what I'm doing so we're going to do something else now. We're going to go over here to these, your saddlebags. Like I said, the uh, smaller part is going to go facing the rear. You're simply going to put it on like this such. All right. And then what you're going to do is if you go up to the front, what I do with mine is I put mine up here to the front like this. So that way I've got plenty of clearance. And then this part's going to be slid back like that when I go install it, but I'm still watching out for all my wires, hooks, and locking mechani mechanism. Alright? 
So see if you can go like that. Now when you go to put these on also, another interesting fact is, see how I was talking about, when I go to put these on, when I go to put my uh, seat on, it's going to push down. These are going to become level, because if you make them level automatically, it's going to be way too tight and you're going to have a hard time getting your seat on. So it also helps if your bike's on a rear stand, make sure they're even. Boom. May not look even on the camera, but it is. Then you take the tail bag, take it up, go over. Like I said, I put my one piece forward, like such, and I can always readjust it when I come back. Take your time, put your small one in there, and then it's gonna hook. Pull this back a little bit. See, I'm having a little technical issues myself. You just have to work it on there. And then, there you go. Pull this back a little bit. Pull this back a little bit. Take your time. And click. There we go. You might have heard the click. I don't know. When I pull this back some. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to show you what I mean. You see how mine goes inside my seat like such. Just like that. And it works out really nicely. I can just pull my tail bags back a little bit. Pull my tail bag back, adjust it the way I need it to be. Look at that. Now with these, you're gonna fold these in, fold these. They're going to go between the two Velcros. Pick this up. If you look right there, you'll see them hanging out. Now don't go ripping, tugging, pulling, because you're gonna tear it. And then it just folds back down like such. Fold this in. Go to the other side and do the same thing. Now with this other camera I have, hopefully you'll be able to see it a bit better. Possibly we will see. Fold it down. Pick up your tail, your saddlebag. Pull that flap down. Don't go ripping, yell, ripping, yelling. Y'all go yelling at it. That's not gonna help. Me. There we go. It's been pulled down. That is there. Tuck that in. Now, we're going to fix these straps real quick because I don't need them flapping around. Boom. Now, take my bungee cord. I only need the one. What I'll do is I go over here to the front, pick this up, hook it, okay, hook it on like such. See? Take my excess, go back through it like such. And then I go around the front of my rear passenger peg. All right. Let's go to the other side. Grab it. Pull. Give it a little pull. Bring it around. Hook it to the same thing. Do the same thing on the side. Hook it on. Take your excess and beat it through. Okay. Slight issues. There we go. If you're having problems with your bungee cord hooks touching your plastic you can always put painters tape there the painters tape painters tape will not ruin your motorcycle now it's still see what i mean so we go over here with these ones remove the front one go down and i hook it to my rear passenger peg inside the rear passenger peg there's a little dip in there and it goes in like that and i just hook it on the inside like that on the back part of it same thing with the other one Pull it down and hook it in. There we go, see? Now we go over here. The rear one, we pull it taut, goes down and under. Now here, I can hook it to my saddlebag, like that. I do the same thing with the other one. Pull it taut, wrap it down. Now it's crisscrossing with my other one. It is not affecting my license plate at all. It is not blocking my license plate. Now they are crisscrossed, all right? You're not going to be able to see it. Um, I'll probably put a picture of it up. And um, they're crisscross across the back. They're not affecting anything. Now if you look, look at that. See? Same thing with the front. Bag steady. Bag is sturdy and steady. Now let's go ahead and do, watch this. See this? Like I said, magnetic. Wait for it. This is the hardest part. Oh my gosh. See? And I just line it up with my tank pad there. Tank bags on, tail bags on, saddle bags are on. 
very easy, very simple. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I do have a Facebook page. You can click on the link below as well for that. Leave me any messages or comments on that as well. If you have any questions, feel free. I'll be more than happy to answer them. If you guys have something specific you'd like to see, let me let, let me know, and I'll answer it the best I can or uh, do what I can to make a video for you guys. All right. My name is RJ Stoke. Please leave a like on the bottom, subscribe to my channel, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Okay. Have a good one.